the audit report documents the performance of the NRM government in relation to its implementation of key areas of the party's 2011-2016 manifesto. The report begins by taking a swipe at the NRM party for what it calls its failure to improve Uganda's microeconomic stability and keeping inflation to a single digit as was promised in its election manifesto. It also questions the NRM party's pledge of reducing poverty and unemployment. This last one year is one of the years where we've had lots of problems, especially around inflation, around our you know, drops in GDP growth and all that. And I think what we are asking the NRM to work on is to emphasize the issue of decisively dealing with issues of corruption, focusing again on the issues of quality in education, focusing more on issues of law and order and upholding you know, the whole levels of constitutionalism. The democratic credentials of the NRM party, as well as its efforts of tackling corruption, were also described as being off track in relation to the implementation of the pledges made in the 2011 manifesto. In response, the NRM's deputy spokesperson, Ofono Opondo, dismissed the report as skewed and misguided. Our promise had 14 pillars. I want to reduce those to only four. Peace, security, and stability. There is nobody who can challenge the NRM in the last one year that we have not improved and consolidated security throughout the country, throughout the region. They are doing it to enlist funding from their funders. I don't think uh, NGOs have any credibility anymore in this country. This view was also shared by other participants. It has been rather biased and it is not so objective like it should have been. However, a number of opposition politicians were in agreement with the findings. Governance in this country leaves a lot to be desired. The audit report is based on a collection of views from ordinary citizens about what they would like to see the government do for them. One of its key recommendations is that the government should focus more on addressing the concerns of its citizens instead of what they called politicking. Chris Ochamringa, NTV, Kampa.